Hello again, everyone. Edwin Laird back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I am going to be uh, talking about the July 12, 2018 new moon slash partial solar eclipse in Cancer. Now, this is like a new moon, but can have a more powerful and bring about more uh, prodigious monumental change that could be very life altering and could have an impact and effect for a much more sustained period. Perhaps a faded meeting may take place. This could be very extemporaneous and spontaneous energy. One may embark on a new project or endeavor. It can give a very powerful initiative and enterprise. What may have prohibited you before may not do so now. And also, uh, whatever may have been holding you back, you may have a better chance of eliminating and discarding. Procrastination can be something that may come to an end. What's interesting is that cancer can be a sign that, of course, could be notorious for procrastination and putting things off. And so this could be ideal for cancer to get that, maybe that provocation from the star, so to speak, to be it to really jumpstart something if they've been stalling and putting something off. Now, also, this could be about throwing away what may be frivolous and might be holding you back. Now, the energy of the sun, new moon slash a solar eclipse can be exceptionally revitalizing and rejuvenating. It could indicate a surfite or uh, abundance of energy and also everyone collectively may be impacted and affected by this new moon solar eclipse but especially people with the sun moon or ascendant in cancer now not only because the moon rules cancer but because obviously this solar eclipse will be in the zodiac sign uh, cancer now cancer can be sensitive, of course, to all phases and transits of the moon, and perhaps this is uh, attributed some, at least somewhat, to why they are so temperamental, fickle, and changeable. But they may be affected by this uh, stronger than a lot of other transits and phases because it is in their sign. Uh, so anyway, well, the thing about this is during this time, as far as how everyone collectively or or not, well, many, many, many may be affected by this in general by uh, maybe uh, through uh, an, an addition uh, to the family. It could be a time where there might be, for many, a monumental change in resonance, a new period of greater safety and security, and maybe the expression of sympathy and uh, as well and nurturing at this time, nurturing energy. And this is a time, too, where one may, where many may start a new period of introversion and being more enamored with home and domestic activities at this time. If you're somebody that's really kind of like a gregarious, extroverted, life of the party personality, this could be a time where you might be saying to yourself, well, I've been doing all these things, doing all these social events and parties or what have you, social gatherings, etc. And I haven't really been really doing as much uh, home related things. This could be that time where you may be saying, well, this is the time to go back and do some things more that are home related and more introverted energy at this time. And uh, many may purchase a new home or start a renovation project on a home or adding a variance or some kind of attachment or some partition at this time. Uh, many may uh, do something, start something cancerian related, such as collecting things, uh, something with oceanography. It could be uh, something with culinary work, cooking, restaurant work, laundry work. Uh, a home business may start, uh, remodeling, renovation work, uh, some business at home. It could be real estate, uh, a family business, doing something with plumbing, or working as a home caregiver, perhaps. And also, looking at those electional event aspects is important, as well as this could impact the transit. Now, Pluto and Capricorn will make a close opposition uh, to, uh, to this uh, new moon slash solar eclipse. Now, what, what could happen, the way that I think this can manifest uh, this for a lot, it could be a way where many people uh, maybe what it is is you have this opposition of this home and family energy with cancer 
uh, going, uh, uh, opposing maybe fixation and obsession in career-related matters, uh, energy, and attaining ambition. So there might be a little tug of war as far as this goes. And also, it could be about maybe uh, where you need to be wary of coercion and manipulation of others to steer you from this Cancerian energy, so to speak. So what for as an example, uh, it could be Let's say you're trying to make a transition with your home and you're trying to go, uh, you're trying to move to a place, somebody may try to manipulate you or, or, or do something to get you to stay where you are when you don't necessarily want to do that. And, and it could be another situation where if you, let's say you're, you're more stagnant and stable in your home scenario and you, want to, and you want to stay home, it could be something where you might be dealing with, in some isolated cases, a stalker or there's some negative activity, nefarious activity going on in your area where people might be trying to get you uh, to move or whether they're doing, people, neighbors doing something mischievous. I mean, this could be, you know, a wide divergence of things. This could be, and the opposite may be true. And if you're someone that's very content in your home situation somebody may or, or either one or more people may be trying to call do something to get you to motivate you to go somewhere else so it could I think could manifest in that manner in some uh, situations so the thing is um, they're also looking at this this could be um, I mean, the house that this falls in can be important as well as this could impact the delineation. Let's say it falls in your eighth house. This could be a time where it may be getting, uh, you might be simply getting home uh, homeowner's insurance, or this is a time for transformation in home-related matters. Uh, and it could, lead, I mean, this could be also, let's say if it falls in the 12th house in your natal chart, this could be a period where you might be decide to begin showing some nurturing, sympathetic energy and rescuing energy toward those that are less fortunate than yourself, such as the hungry, the oppressed, and the impoverished. And it could lead to some life-altering uh, connection. Now, mine is going to fall in my third house. So this could be a time for as far as activating something with short journeys, perhaps. I've been speaking of Cancerian procrastination. I procrastinated on trying to get myself out of my community in my city for a pretty good time now. And it might be the time where it might, might feel a little bit more motivation to actually do it. And there might be some provocation from the stars, so to speak, in order for me uh, to do this and take that strong Cancerian emotional energy and maybe rescue myself, so to speak, from that, from this, uh, the neighborhood that I am currently in, in the city that I am in. And also it's going to make a close uh, conjunction to my natal Mars, which is in my third house. And it's the, my 12th house of restrictions ruler. So this could really uh, flare up, I mean, some issues with me in connection with maybe, I mean, Mars and Cancer, of course, can be about having a perpetual battle uh, as far as just surviving and, and having a home uh, and, and really, uh, and given that this is the, I mean, the ruler, the, I mean, Mars is in my third, again, it's the ruler of my 12th house. So basically what this is, it's the ruler of the 12th house is in my third. So this could be something about, or something might come up, which might um, maybe give me some kind of reminder about my limitations and with my short journeys, which might cause some of this acrimonious and even defensive Cancerian energy and might illuminate uh, that energy, so to speak, and give me maybe a reminder of it. But at the same time, uh, the, as I stated before, even if I, even if this makes me a little, something happens that makes me a little bit incensed about this and flares up, you know, those issues, it could be where this could be maybe that provocation from the stars, so to speak, to get me to motivate me, to get me to finally do something about my limiting uh, situation as far as uh, as far as that goes. So anyway, uh, the next thing I want to talk about, of course, is I mean the degree is important as well. I mean, I look at this as far as saving symbols go, and I do believe in that. And this could uh, impact the interpretation delineation a little bit as well. This will be at 20 degrees Cancer. Uh, so uh, this could be, I mean, as far as saving symbols go, this could suggest that one may be trying to do too many things uh, simultaneously, perhaps uh, Cancer, 
uh, related and one uh, such as something with the family and the home. And, uh, and the way I see it is that one may dissipate self through lack of an integrated and unifying purpose and perhaps not, not complete anything that has started. So it's really important to just kind of focus at this point in time and imperative to do one thing at a time very systematically and methodically as far as this energy goes. And also, this new moon uh, partial uh, solar eclipse that's going to take place. I mean, if you're looking at other um, other astrological energy that will take place at this time, along uh, electional uh, as far as electional positions go, event positions. Now, this could actually they could be intensified because of this uh, partial solar eclipse. There's going to be a grand Earth trine configuration with Venus in Virgo. Uranus and Taurus and Saturn and Capricorn. Now, grand trines uh, in general can give, I mean, grand, grand, I'm sorry, grand earth trines in general can give much pragmatism and practicality and good financial acumen and uh, really um, in, in, in prowess as well. Now, and also very good premeditative and planning ability. Now, Venus and Virgo can be good for extrapolation of financial data for the future, perhaps even. And given you're talking about Uranus and Taurus, this works very well uh, with that because, I mean, this could be about formulation of new monetary ideas and even in, in future-oriented ones. And given also Saturn and Capricorn can be very auspicious as far as business acumen uh, may go and perhaps through consistent laborious efforts. So uh, the thing about this is, so basically if you're doing, like if someone's doing some kind of home-based business or starting something that could be a Cancerian related business when during at this time of this new moon, a uh, partial solar eclipse in Cancer, that in other words, that greatest grand earth uh, trying uh, configuration can be very auspicious for that because it could give very strong uh, and really good financial acumen and really a uh, know-how and ability to get this, perhaps get the uh, the ideas um, maybe going and, and make the and really act upon these things a little bit easier. Uh, also, uh, this could be and also having that new moon a uh, slash partial solar eclipse energy. It would also give that really that strong abundance and surfite of energy to get this uh, to get it going if you're going to do start something anew on a financial level. Now, also too, at this time, um, looking, it's also important to look at transits that are made at the time of this solar eclipse, uh, the transits from other, uh, other planets uh, that are going to hit points in your chart is the, as they could be intensified because this is during the solar eclipse in Cancer. So in other words, um, my, uh, my transit Mercury in Leo is going to make a tight conjunction to my natal Venus in Leo in the fourth house. Now this could be perhaps at this time, maybe the way this might manifest with me is perhaps generous communication involving uh, extravagant expenses connected with my home life. It could be in some cases, maybe this will be a declaration of love. Uh, I'm not sorry, in some cases, maybe for me, this will be a declaration of love from a Leo sun, moon, or ascendant, or one that embodies Leo-like characteristics that I am close to home with, perhaps. And um, anyway, um, that's uh, that's pretty much, I mean, going to be it. But uh, the one thing I wanted to get back at and going to um, really uh, just, just to emphasize uh, again is that um, going back to what I was talking about before with that transit of that of the solar eclipse making that conjunction to my natal Mars again that could be a provocation by the stars maybe to motivate me maybe to take some action and what and what I see is this is sometimes this could be maybe and take action in, in terms of making that short journey that may be inevitable and really uh, at this time it might be something that might happen that might make me incensed which would motivate me maybe once and for all maybe some you know to become angry enough to maybe make that transition and what I what I want to get at is is that the reason I'm say, saying this and reiterating this again people is that when you're talking about the new moon you know you're talking about solar eclipse energy especially this could be really serendipitous energy at times it could be something where 
something that that might be construed as something negative initially might actually lead to something uh, positive sometimes like an argument can take place like say an argument with a family member or some kind of blow up uh, could happen i mean you're talking about really figuratively like flare-ups when you're talking about solar eclipse energy and it could be something that you know is serendipitous because it could be something that might seem very adverse or negative but may lead to something positive an argument or a uh, contentious situation say with a family member that finally reaches its boiling point might actually give you that motivation and ability to say enough is enough i'm taking off I'm, I'm not going to put up with this anymore and decide to be more independent and in saying that you don't you don't need uh, this situation anymore an abusive situation and with a family member dealing with some kind of probious language dealing with some kind of physical abuse in some cases it could be a time for some where you know you could be taking like if somebody's in that situation say and you're and you're having this new you're, you're at the time when you're having this new moon slash partial solar eclipse you might say well you know what uh this 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 is the breaking point for me i'm going to use this it's going to be motivation for me to make a new start uh in 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 something and getting away from extricating myself from an adverse uh abusive situation as an example and embark on something new uh in your life so this could be in some cases the new moon partial solar eclipse energy might might be something where it might be seen as negative initially but i think in many instances it can ultimately lead to something positive anyway people that'll conclude this youtube astrological segment for my take on the july 12 2018 new moon slash partial solar eclipse in cancer uh stay tuned next time where i am going to be uh giving you my uh my virgo uh august 2018 horoscope forecast two things i want to get with you on before i head out firstly the stars may impel but do not compel and secondly never isolate any single astrological element aspect planetary placement position configuration influence or what have you and make an analysis of a person astrologically speaking based on this alone because astrologically speaking the person is the sum of all their components in their natal chart and not just one until next time people stay well